All right, so what we're looking at here today is the brand new Happy Model Mobula 6 2024 Express OLS Edition. So as my channel is mainly about tutorials, I'm just going to, to teach you how to get this boop, bind it to your Express OLS radial, and then we're going to go into beta flight. We're going to set up the Mo switch, the arm switch, and also we're going to set up the turtle Mo switch. And at last, we're also going to briefly walk over how to get footage from your analog goggles. All right, done with the topics. Let's jump right into it. All right, so first thing first, let's get the Mobula 6 binded to a Radio Master Pocket. And before we begin, there is an important rule that you need to know, which is Express OLS binding requires both the RX, TX to have the same firmware, which basically right now the Happy model has 3.X, so our Radio Master Pocket will have to be 3.X as well. So if your Radio Master Pocket is not 3.X, it's in 2.X, go check this video. It's going to just show you how to flash your radio. It's going to be a different radio, but similar process. All right. Done with the basic rules, let's talk about the binding method. Same as my previous video, the easiest way to get this binded to your radio is still using the binding phrase. And to use the binding phrase, we're going to have to connect the whoop with the battery and connect via Wi-Fi to our computer. And then we can set up a binding phrase on web base. This is still the easiest method. Let's switch to our computer and we can go do that process. All right, so at our computer, what you can do is you can power up your Whoop with a USB cable or you can power the battery, but generally USB power is going to power up the Express OLS directly, which I'm just going to use that instead to save up my batteries. And then during this process, my suggestion is to use a little fan to blow at the Whoop so it has airflow so the air so the vtx does not overheat and what we're doing right now is we're going to wait for 30 seconds in order for the express os receiver to go into wi-fi mode and once it's in wi-fi mode you can go connect it using your computer so 30 seconds is here and what we're going to do is you're going to come to your wi-fi icon at your computer open it search for the express solar s receiver function Okay, so there's an Express OLS RX, and if this is the first time you're connecting to something like this, you're going to have to enter a password, which is Express OLS, low, all lowercase. And what you're going to do, connect to it. So first time, okay, Express, Express LRS, okay. All right, so once you have successfully connected to the Express OLS web page, a separate screen like this is going to pop out and what you can do right here, you can just punch in their binding phrase, same as your radio. Okay, so we're just going to enter 654321 here. This is going to be my binding phrase. You can set up whatever you like as long as it matches your radio. And once done, we're just going to hit save right here. And it's going to ask the Whoop to reboot. And we're just going to press reboot. And then it should be done. All right, so with the Whoop connected, you're going to open beta flight. And then also bring out your radio and we're going to power up a radio okay since my radio and my whoop now it has the exact same binding phrase they should automatically bind together what we're going to do is go to the receiver tab move your throttle to see if you're having any stick inputs and you can see that we do and which means if you're having stick inputs in your receiver tab this is an indication that this has been successfully bounded and this brings us to the next topic. We're going to set up the modes. So here is the modes. By default, you're going to have your arm switch set up already. And this is going to be aux one, which means our aux one button is going to be the one on the top. Let me flip it over. So this is our aux button one, which is our arm switch. If you press this one by default, it's going to go to the perimeter, which is going to arm the quad. And next, let's set up our modes. Otherwise, it's going to be default as acro. So let's add angle mode and let's add range right here. And then auto, you're going to just select this button. So it's going to auto select aux two, which is this one. And we, I wanted the perimeter to be at the bottom. So when my switch is at the bottom, it's going to activate angle mode. And the next thing we are going to set up is horizon mode. We're going to add range right here. So same auto select 
to aux 2. So right now in the middle, the switch is going to bring the quad to horizon mode and you flip it on the top, it's going to go back to acro. And the last thing we're going to set up is actually it's already here. It's going to be flip over after crash switch, which I wanted it to be on. So aux 4, I want it to be on aux 4. Okay. So once we press aux 4, yeah, we will activate crash flip. And then after this, you're going to hit save and your modes has been set up. And the next thing, let's go to our video transmitter just to see what currently channel it's set up. So by default, this is going to be race band channel number one, which means if you have analog goggles, this is the channel you wanted to select on your goggles in order for it to work. By default, the default setting is going to bring the power to 400. I bring it down to 25 so I so the VTX doesn't overheat that quickly since I'm just flying indoors right now. I don't care. And once we're done, hit save and then disconnect. All right, let's go back to the bench and we can start testing this out. All right, so we're back to the bench and what you're going to need to do right now is we're just going to plug in the LiPo directly. Make sure you plug into the correct site. By the way, this LiPo plug is going to be A30, which is going to be compatible with A30 and also BT 2.0. All right, so we're just going to plug in a BT 2.0 battery and it's going to work. Okay. Telemetry okay, we have telemetry, which means it is working. And then let's press the arm switch to see if it actually, motor actually spins. Okay, so our motor spins, which means this is a successful bind. And the next thing we're going to do is to set up our VTX. So VTX, you have to select the channel as R1. Okay, so if you accidentally change it to a different channel, it's not going to give you any footage. So let's switch back to R1, which you can see that the footage is working. All right, so that's about it for this short tutorial. And if you have additional questions, feel free to leave it at the comment section. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.